What's going on? This is Peter Osborne with Osborne Wooded Metal. This is the second video um, on our channel. Today I'd like to show you this uh, slab of sycamore that's been made into a coffee table. Now this is ambrosia sycamore and it's a standard coffee table in this current configuration. Uh, underneath it there is a plywood compartment that holds a video game system that I have put inside it. This slab of sycamore works great just as a coffee table as it sits and it is currently for sale for $4.95 on our Amazon Handmade and our Etsy page. So without further ado, I'm going to show you the inside of this. It opens up uh, like I just did there and it's got gas shocks and that enables it to open up safely and in a uniform manner. It also holds the, um, the monitor portion steady while you're playing it. So this plays uh, games from the NES, the SNES, the Sega Master System, and you're able to uh, load games on it via a included USB stick. So now I'm going to uh, switch the camera around and I'll, I'll show you a better angle of the insides of this coffee table. Okay, now I'm gonna show you a few things about the inside of this coffee table. As I mentioned before, this is an older model uh, Dell Latitude, uh, Latitude E6 uh, 410, in case you wanna look it up, eight gigabytes of RAM. It's got, a, I believe, a 320 gigabyte hard drive. There are, is approximately 250 gigabytes of space left on the hard drive for games that again you can load in on a USB stick. It's got these standard controllers. These are SNES style controllers I believe. It comes to two of them. As you can see here and here I've got two glorified coasters. They are actually poured concrete uh, counter stabilizing um, blocks of concrete basically and that keeps the uh, heavy uh, portion of this table, the uh, top slab, it keeps it uh, reasonably uh, well balanced, uh, the entire table itself well balanced. So you simply turn it on and it's gonna boot into what's called the recall box operating system, which is Linux based. And this table will ship with um, publicly available, uh, what they call um, a public domain, uh, video games as to not run afoul of uh, any copyright issues, but it comes with approximately 25 uh, public domain video games installed on it. And then on your own, you simply Google um, ROMs, Safe, Reddit, or, or something similar to that, and uh, you'll eventually be able to um, stumble upon some websites that have uh, ROMs uh, available for download. And again, this is the SNES, NES, Sega Master System, Commodore, a few other systems. You load those ROMs that you've found on various websites and you uh, put them on the memory stick. And then you put the memory stick uh, here on the laptop. And you will then at that point be able to load them onto this operating system, the recall box. And you'll be able to uh, play whatever games um, you want. So, see, you've got a Super Nintendo and the NES, Game Boy Advance. So this is the shareware version of Doom. Uh, one of my favorites when I was uh, growing up, came out in 93. Uh, so I can take you through a couple shots here. Um, this is The, the, the play is super smooth because this is a you know, later model uh, computer, at least relative to the early 90s, and it emulates uh, Doom flawlessly. And it looks like I'm running out of battery here. So, um, get out of that. So, in conclusion, check it out. Hopefully, I'm not going to get a copyright strike for this music. This, it comes with uh, looping music that's inspired by, by video games. That's this, you're basically looking at the recall box uh, operating system. This is its uh, main page here. It also comes with Kodi, which people use as a, a general purpose uh, media center. So uh, thanks for checking all this out. I, I hope you guys like this uh, arcade table that I've, that I've come up with. I believe it's the first of its kind, uh, the kind that opens up that has a sort of clamshell interface. So uh, 
I hope you enjoy it. You can lock it with a um, padlock. So if you have little ones who are running off with your video game equipment systems and uh, controllers, you can uh, lock them out and uh, it'll come with this. So, and lock out roommates or whoever else. And if you also wanna use this as a concealment table, you can, there is extra space here. So if there's anything that you want to uh, lock away uh, and still have available um, in your living room, you can do that. Uh, lastly, here's some LED lighting that I added. Okay, this is the last setup here. Uh, I'm showing you a web address, uh, zofar.net forward slash pdroms forward slash nes dot html. Uh, this website contains public domain video game ROMs that you can use on your uh, NES emulating uh, arcade coffee table. Okay, so uh, scroll through here, find a game that you like. Uh, click on the Elite there, futuristic space travel type game, okay. So uh, download it, download it here. So it should be on my desktop. And it's gonna be in a zip file. So you have elite.nes. Okay, over here I've got the uh, USB stick I keep mentioning plugged in there. So I'm going to put it on the uh, USB stick, this .nes uh, file. So open up the USB stick here. Uh, I named the USB stick games to keep things simple here. Okay, I've, I've moved the file over. So now do you still have to safely eject things in 2020 on a Windows 10 machine? I'm real curious about that. Eject, it's a Cruiser Micro. Okay, so I've ejected that safely. God knows what, what would happen if I didn't do it. It's like putting metal in the microwave or some nonsense. Okay, uh, so I've got that done. We are at the operating system, uh, the recall box. And that shot's a little cattywampus, I apologize. Okay, so we're gonna put the um, USB stick in the computer here. Cattywampus, that's a real southern term for you. Okay, so in order to access the, uh, the, the ROM that you just put on the USB stick, go over to uh, Cody the media center that I mentioned earlier, uh, hit X, okay, hit B. Okay, I'm gonna uh, fix that in post. Okay, so, uh, refocus. So go up to, uh, um, hit B once you get to the this, settings uh, gear thing here. Go down to file manager. Now you've got approximately 275 gigabytes of free space for ROMs. Okay, go over to the, the um, right hand column. You've got games, hit B, open that. You see Elite NES sitting there. Okay, uh, so yeah, I've hit a Y. Now I'm gonna go to um, move, hit B. Yes, I'm going to move the elite.nes file over into the, um, the, the ROMs column that exists on the uh, hard drive here on the Latitude. Okay, so I'm going to hit A a bunch of times and then go over to um, the power off button, hit exit. And that's going to power down the uh, Cody Media Center. And it's going to open back up Recall Box. And then um, go into NES. Do I keep going over? All right, go into NES, open that up. Now, uh, what you need to do here is uh, hit Start, 
once you're on this page and then you want to update your game list hit B really update, update game list yes so it should have uh, elite on there see and there's elite so uh, hit B open elite up and now you can play a game that you've downloaded off the internet so now we're gonna play elite Looks like a lot of fun. Hello, my dad just got here. We are, um, I'm playing a game I downloaded off the internet. 